In this video, we're going to talk about two programs for visualizing molecular structures. So the first is Avogadro, that is a molecule editor for constructing and manipulating molecules. So oftentimes if I'm doing a computational chemistry uh, simulation or experiment, I need to generate molecular structures and Avogadro is a program I can use to do that. Uh, the second is VMD, which is Visual Molecular Dynamics, and that's a program which is widely used in molecular modeling, a lot more in the uh, biophysics and uh, biomolecular simulation community, used for molecular modeling and uh, visualization as well. So these two programs are both available for free for downloads, uh, Avogadro from avogadro.cc and uh, VMD from <coughs> the... Uh, website of the Shilton Group at University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. So if I go to these websites, I have Avogadro here on the wiki for <coughs> its creators, and I have various uh, versions that we can download and install there. The version I have installed is 1.1.1. Uh, and similarly, on ks.uiuc.edu slash research slash VMD, you have the Visual Molecular Dynamics, the VMD page, and we have uh, download here. You can go to uh, downloads and download the appropriate version for you. Um, I noticed that there was only a 32-bit uh, version for Windows uh, as, as I could find, uh, but it seems to work okay on my 64-bit Windows machine um, that I'm running these these. Uh, videos on. Okay, so those were, were the downloads for. So Avogadro is something very useful for drawing and cleaning up structures of molecules. I'll demo demonstrate that in a later video, how to draw molecules in Avogadro. Also manipulating atoms and generating XYZ coordinates for input for a lot of quantum chemistry and computational chemistry programs. And VMD, uh, in, in my field, I use mainly for things like viewing trajectories of atoms or making GIF movies of the of the results, um, preparing structures for things like uh, adding solvation shells to, to various uh, complexes, and things like high quality images and rendering. I've used VMD to generate images uh, which are publication quality. So just to show you uh, these individual programs here, if this will pop up. Okay, we're taking a second. All right, there's the Avogadro GUI. <clears throat> so this is Avogadro. So I'll show, demonstrate this in another video how to how to visualize molecules in this. But there's an adenine molecule which I opened from an XYZ file. So we can see, for example, <clears throat> that there's the XYZ actual XYZ coordinates and. Uh, Avogadro is rendering those into the structure that I can see there so that I can verify that this is a reasonable structure for adenine. And similarly, VMD. VMD typically has three windows. So there's the there's the OpenGL display, so the dis molecular display window. And then there's the main menu where I can do things like load files and change things about the graphics or, or various things about the display. So same thing here. I can move things around. Um, three render, uh, render types that I particularly like in VMD. Uh, this is the licorice rendering. Then uh, two others that I also find quite useful that I use a lot. If I go to representations. Also the uh, CPK, which is kind of a ball and stick model. We can see there the, the ball and stick model as it rotates around. And also the van der Waals rendering, which is like the space filling sphere model at their van der Waals radius. So those are those three renderings there. So those are Avogadro and VMD, and those will be used throughout this playlist uh, for various purposes.